please subscribe to Gypsy Hobo on YouTube about my Gypsy Hobo ways. So, um, I've always had Gypsy Christine for my um, email. And my first boat was named Gypsy Cat. So it both matched. It would um, joke that not only am I Gypsy, I'm a total hobo. So I like to hitchhike. I like to save money when traveling and um, camp without a tent and sleeping bag. So they started calling me a Gypsy Hobo. So it's sort of like a cute joke between us. But literally now, a lot of people call me hobo, my hobo ways, because when I travel lots and lots of places, I'm on a very limited budget as I've been traveling for 12 years and I haven't really worked. I did some online editing, writing, um, editing, oh, um, and a few seasons in St. Martin as a bartender. So not a lot of work, but I've been able to manage my traveling and travels sailing with a very limited budget but right now since I'm dating Paul my budget went up a little bit because he pays for most of the food and everything that has to do with his boat because it's his boat maintenance and everything so right now we live on a very limited budget um, I can't even say how much because not on top of my head and most of these videos we don't plan and um, I just visited my dad I talk so loud most of the time and all the time because I love meeting people and connecting to them. So with bonding with my new family, my dad just got remarried in February. So I'm still getting to know my stepsisters. I have two much younger, like at least 20 years younger, and a stepbrother. I won't say who they are because they want to remain anonymous. So I went up for my... Um, stepsister's wedding in San Jose so of course at a wedding open bar I'm talking to lots and lots of people so over the weekend and the week I lost my voice so right now it's still scratchy so going back to the limited budget so after traveling for about 12 years now 13 years with different relationships and that's a, another long story my videos are all about the reality of traveling. As a female traveler by myself for many years, three years, and in relationships on a boat, um, trying to save money and trying to continue living my dream of traveling and sailing around the world. And I've managed to do most of that and I'm happy to do that. So, and I'm happy to share videos um, of my travels and my sailing. But if you want someone that looks good all the time, that's wearing makeup, that's not for you. This channel is not for you because look at me. Because look at this. Being in the Philippines, me and Paul were drinking maybe three to six beers a night for happy hour or rum. So, self indulgent La Vida de Dolce. So yeah, I'm not embarrassed because everyone has roles and even the really good looking people, eventually they get older, they start eating too much. That's what happens in life. So I like to portray the realities of just what I look like most of the time because on a boat, I'm not wearing makeup, I'm not brushing my hair, I'm not wearing sunblock, I'm like a total hobo, see hobo. My maintenance is very little with how I look. Um, how I act. I'm very easygoing, carefree, and my outlook in life is be you. Don't try to, um, don't compare yourself to anybody else because there will be someone prettier, skinnier, with more money, on and on. So with my life, I try to, and my videos, I, I'm just me. Um, you get me probably unfiltered, raw but not too raw because YouTube censorship so I like to um, just show who I am what I look like all the time because I also do um, photography and I'm pretty photogenic from what I've been complimented so 
a lot of people when they see me in real life they're like oh even my helper he goes oh you look different in pictures and videos because that's what my hobby and passion is, um, are, not videos. 